do you believe someone comes becomes one of God's sheep? Define sheep. Oh, uh, for instance, when Jesus says in John 10, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, they follow me. When do you become one of uh, Jesus' sheep? You haven't defined what sheep is. Oh, sheep are people that listen and follow the shepherd. Well, then the, by that definition, they couldn't exist. They couldn't listen until they exist or mature enough to listen. So then you'd say that the sheep are only those who were at that time who were hearing him. Well, not necessarily. I was, that's why I was just asking you is when does someone become a sheep? Uh, sheep uh, are born sheep. Born sheep. Okay. So taking uh, that to the biblical uh, analogy, okay. so are you saying people are born forgiven of sin? <laughs> uh, you're, you're just drawing an improper inference. Look, um, the idea that... Oh, no, because said, you gave me the coma man analogy last time we spoke. You don't want me to finish? I won't. You can just keep talking. Oh, no, please. So I'll wait Go for ahead. you to get done. Go ahead. Okay. Well, last time we spoke, you gave me your the, the coma man analogy. And basically what you were drawing from that analogy is that the man's sins were forgiven before he even went to the bank and found out that his payment had already been made. So basically what I'm getting at is this, if someone is born a sheep, then how can you say that they're not born forgiven of sin? I want to verify that you're done. Yeah, go for it. All right. I didn't say what you said. Okay. I didn't say they're born forgiven. That's not what I said. That's your misrepresentation of what I said. Okay, I said the sin debt's canceled at the cross. And the coma analogy is just to show that a legal debt paid for can't be held responsible, can't be held against someone else for whom it has been paid for and canceled. That's all that analogy is. What you're doing is you're taking a part of an analogy and then trying to make a big thing out of it. It's a wrong logical process. You don't want to commit the fallacy of, of equivocation. You don't want to commit the fallacy of composition at this point. 